a movement that has uh, taken a while to start. I know you all know the gentleman, the gentleman uh, in front of us. Uh, this is the sound, and this is the future of Kenyan music. So I don't want to say much. I'll allow these two great men to introduce themselves and then tell you exactly what we're doing on Friday. Can you tell us? All right. Hey, everybody. My name is Ethan, Ethan Muziki. I'm a singer, songwriter, and a merchant of hope. Na Nico, very excited that you're here with us. We have super great news, Manzea Nico. Friday, I don't see um, set, set, Ninoma, Sana. But yeah, to get a bit more about it. Yeah. Um, hi, guys. My name is Kinoti. I am a singer, songwriter, entertainment lawyer. And uh, yeah, just, just as uh, everyone who's talked before me has said, we are super, super excited for what you're about to do on Friday, and I am so glad that I may, I may phrase you as a movement because mm -hmm. I feel like that's exactly what this is. Yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's about to be quite quite an interesting end to the year. Yes, yes, yes. So ideally, um, what's happening me on Friday to Kona, one of the biggest shows, Manzi to ever grace our, our land. Um, we need to have echoes, city of love. It's a cool, uh, on Friday from 2 p.m. Yeah. Onwards till late. Um, uh, yes, yes. So it gets open at 12, but the show starts around 2 onwards. I love for yeah. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's 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 just us to um, trying to show people the power of collaboration, I guess, mm. and. Uh, just this in itself has been a long time coming to make what Kipanga just to do to do something to show the people how much we can how much we can do. And I feel like this this is exactly what this is exactly what showcases what that is. And to make what ki to make what ki yonge asana, the planning of it has been amazing. And honestly we, we genuinely feel like there's nothing like this that has been done before. Yeah, genuinely. <laughs> Actually, at a, that's, that's exactly what I was saying in the beginning. Like, when you took me the sets, I told you could just show it to before in the past, I'm going to in the future. I think this particular one for Friday is extremely unique. Mm -hmm. um, because it's going to happen. I'm actually super glad in it to a movement, which is going to on stage. Props and everything that going to happen. Niko nyesha to what collaboration can be and what Kenyan music can actually offer. Yeah. Um, especially just see to come a lot of young, beautiful energy. So Niko super excited and yeah. And then just to give context on why we called it Echoes. Yeah. Um, when we're on stage, I, the one thing we feel in Akwanga so solid is. The ringing out of voices. Was you come show too on a kujangapo on experience? Ukikapo even from from where we see it, people are just singing along to the music the entire time. And if there's one place we know for for sure, what what akuja kumbaisi ngoma ni apa KICC on Friday. So mtu akiweza pande za tao mali atakuwa tuta atakuwa na juli za watu na pigi anduru wapi? Yeah. And this will be the place. This yeah, will yeah. be exactly where it will be happening. No, it's definitely true. Like kuna patanga kuna time to ko show na ata uneza cha tu kuimbo kia mo wache kuimba uneza cha tu and wase ona kuimbia and so you know feel like it's a, it's such a beautiful echo and that's the whole idea behind echoes that give girl time your your sing along ability mm. yeah our songs it are yeah. extremely clear. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think we can open space now for the questions. Yeah. So if I can be able to proceed. So anyone with a question can ask a question. All right, this question. Oh, thank you so much. I'm a Kenna. So uh, this question particularly goes to Churchill. We know you as the father of comedy. I know, I know it because it's a United Bank, but I'm coming there. So I'm going to as the father of comedy. Yeah? So um, why is it now? Why you know you support a lot of talents, but you must be major with comedy. Why is it? Now? Yeah, uh, I beg to correct you on that. <laughs> Actually, it's all talents. Yes. Because uh, uh, way before this, we've done had the band Gymnasium, and all these other big, 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 um, big sound, uh, including sound. Yeah. 
uh, the unique thing about Ethan and Kinoti is they remind me of where uh, the real classic Kenya music began when we had safari sounds, uh, music that we could export to the rest of the world. I know you know that song of Jambo Buana, uh, uh, the mushrooms, um, and uh, what they're trying to create is a unique sound for Kenya, just like what Oliver Mtukuzi was able to do uh, down in, in South. So it's so amazing. And what made me want to be part of what they're doing and uh, give my little support is they've really been ignored by the mainstream media because mainstream media believe there's a certain sound that their radio station or television channel should listen to. Uh, so it's more Afro, more Mapiano, more Bongo. Uh, theirs is so authentic and that's what is exciting. If you saw their performance at Sarit, you saw everybody singing word to word. That means they're already creating their own movement. And uh, it's so exciting, we live in exciting times to see you guys come up with a, a sound uh, that we can all celebrate. And uh, we live in interesting times. So this is the future, this is the movement. And it, we just get it started. Yeah, and thanks for also believing in me. <laughs> okay, a question to Ethan and Pinot. Yeah. Uh, last time you saw your show at Sarit, and people yeah. are so happy. And you know, right now we have high expectations yeah. for you guys. Maybe how ready are you? And also, yeah. uh, maybe Nikitu Gani, you, you believe so much in Chachi. Of course, we have so many people, but you decided to work with Chachi. Why? Thank you. So, we, first of all, luckily we have been performing for the longest time because. Yes, for, for some purposes, we yeah. can move closer to the. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, we have been performing for the longest time. Um, Ata, ata, interestingly, when you do church, uh, direction we take with our music, still particularly chasing anything mainstream, we could create communities. So for us to create communities, we had to play so many shows and, and, and you know, the people to interact now. And so we uh, find already, even before we started planning this show, already we had a lot of hours of experience in terms of playing live. So now when we were thinking about this show, it was what we could just show zetu, unajua. So, to tell party ya nini yenye. Either kama me kama mujai kama, this one is just going to be extremely different. And so, even before we announced the show, already we got many rehearsals. It's been like, <laughs> that has been so many hours of rehearsals, overnight rehearsals. I feel like we are, we are extremely ready. Yeah. Yeah, and I'd say one thing um, that... I love about Churchill honestly is is just his purity and his readiness to support. He has been such an instrumental part in helping us curate this show and I feel like we wouldn't have done it this way with anyone else. Honestly, like it was just aligned for it to happen and that's one one thing I'm super super grateful for it happening. Ilikwatuni the things that you just say zili 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 kwa designed to happen which for us has been quite quite a beautiful journey. Yeah. There's, there's someone who said, who sang, Kama, Kama, Ziko Nyakasaba, Ziko Tulikana, Nyakasaba, Nyakaka Nane, Nyakaka We can't wait. <laughs> so these guys need to go out there. It's interesting. When you go to the sponsors and they'll say, ah, but we, yeah, we just have to do something special. Then from there, I think after Friday we'll have a very different discussion. It was the same when we were starting comedy. Um, it, does, it didn't matter how funny you are, but uh, can, can you talk like more? Because at that time it was ridiculous. And so it was very hard to get gigs back then. Uh, but with time, for sure, it was not easy. <laughs> so we want, to, we want to capture what they have, and they are hungry for success. We need to capture that, and I'm sure uh, you great people are going to support this initiative. Uh, we play more Kenyan music, we love our own, and we push this agenda. We just be specific, deliberate, that we want something, a great sound, uh, to come out of this place, Kenya. And I'm glad these two gentlemen are leading that call. So I hope we're going to get that support. We've got support. Yes. Awesome. Okay. Do it for the next generation.
Sal Sal. Are you, are you working as a manager or money partnership? No, no, I can't manage them. These guys are big. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are huge. But uh, I'm just offering my little support in terms of production, advice. Uh, we just get started. Then the rest, will, they'll figure it out. They'll choose their managers. They'll choose uh, the record label they want to sign up with. Me, uh, you're to the initial push uh, to answer the money. Kupenda hungezeka zaidi kila jioni Na vyo kupenda hungezeka zaidi kila jioni Jioni, jioni, jioni Kila jioni, 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 kila jioni. Just a quick question. Okay, so Ethan and I met at a competition um, like three years ago. We were competing for guitar and uh, he ended up winning. I came in third. So what happened after that, he'd seen some of my performances. I was just starting out in playing music, uh, performing rather. So he saw some of the songs that I performed and he was like, you know what, I think this song would do so good in studio, you should come through and then we record. We recorded the song and then we lost the files. But later on, um, having seen the experience of what that was for me, I was like, you know what, I actually want to do, I, wa I want to record my music. So I hit him up like five, six months later and I was like, I think I want, I, I think I'm ready. And he was like, you know what, let's do it. So from three years ago, we've just been working together, making music when we can, um, just pushing each other. And I'd yeah. say he literally just got me into the game, man. So yeah. Yo, and it's, it's, it's so interesting that you're saying it like that, Jew. I, I feel like the moment Kin and I started working together, push yake, yani the way, anajituma, the way, anaweka kazi. Nkama, it helps to keep my fire burning, you know. Jew, unajua ukiwa ukipatana na mtu, na pia ako as excited about music as you are. You feel like you're not alone in the journey. So thank you, man. Ah, thank you, man. Bless you, man. Just to ask, because uh, I've seen you quite a number of uh, times performing before. And uh, if I'm not wrong, I stand corrected. And I used to work with King Kaka. Kaka Empire. Yes, yeah, so how, how is it from when you started to now? And uh, number two, what, because Saudi Soul has announced their, you know, their, their growth in Saudi, Saudi Soul. Uh, do you think you're the next Saudi Soul? Are you taking the space or who, who do you want to take the space if it's not you? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, the journey for me genuinely has been very, you may call eye-opening. Kuna vitu mingize ni melan along the way. Kuna so many people in me meet along the way. Uh, so, apo dune za sema, the journey me kwa poa, uh, just isn't that too much into the details. Lakini, um, about, the second question is about? Um, uh, South Isol. About South Isol. Huh. Well, I feel like we, we I, I generally, I really love South Isol, obviously, manze, yani vitu wamefanya for the industry. Uh, but, Labda ni juu, we're not particularly a band. Yeah. Yeah, so ni, ni ngumu kusema we are the next artist. So, but na feel wame, wame, wame 
Tengen is a very beautiful way for everybody. Yeah. Uh, at least if also in a manager, we can also create things now from the yeah. job in your me work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take a standard and if you can do it, like, okay, if that is achievable, what more can we achieve yeah. with the amount of time that they have? Yeah. And pay not to pay two goals to Nangaliat, like, okay, or me fika level flani, it's only fair that we surpass that because yeah. it's 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 eye opening for the generation in it to come. So that ten years down the line when people look at us they're like, you know what? Ethan and Kinoti got to a certain point, I think it's about time we surpassed it. Yeah. Just to bring that culture, to bring that to bring that psych, yeah. yeah. You know, vitu vitu zinginez yate kuka unachievable. Like yeah. playing stadiums and doing yeah. all these things yeah. that are done around the world. We want to make them happen and I feel like it's about time yeah. we got to, to doing that. Yeah. yeah. The, the, but, the reason why I've said so just on because the journal that you're doing is almost the same. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you, you're doing a journal that uh, almost looks the same as Saudi Sun. Now, uh, do you think wow, what he, what he break up and, and of course they're going to be single artists, mm -hmm. do you think that you, know, you can give a push to be able to get to the standard that they were? Uh, oh, I get you. No, genuinely, I um, actually feel like when people will start to talk about like the journey of Kenyan music, and I feel Nikama with what we are doing, yeah. this is a pivot. It a very significant moments of time that people will be talking about, and this moment, two independent artists, anyway, we are not even trying to be mainstream, filling up stadiums, yeah. you know, filling up malls that is in a shutdown. About Maizo, and one of those things is KICC. So I feel like to go genuinely in that in that trajectory and in that space already. Yeah. Yeah. What um, like big Kenyan artists are doing, and so I'm I'm happy that to go your um, space. Uh, the vision can only grow bigger, and I feel like. Friday for us is is the beginning of something new. Yeah. Not only for us, but for so many people, the the levels to which Kenyan music can, the heights to which Kenyan music yeah. can go to, it was so clear that by the time tuna, tuna, tuna angalia back on Friday, on yeah. Saturday or Sunday, people yeah. will be like, you know what, we as Kenyan artists can actually do it. Yeah. Uh, uh, and uh, maybe lastly, you can't go without uh, me asking this uh, <laughs> question. Uh, <laughs> uh, I know it's, it's just a common one. Was that uh, stage in Ulipanda and people didn't give you the fact that you, you were expecting? Um, has there been one? And number two, uh, we shy to Kanatu put up for a stage when we were talking. <laughs> I feel like for, for me, his experience is in Mekua, but way earlier on, um, I think like two years back, I was playing at a show. And then um, after I did like two songs, actually it's only my friends, like five of them were um, and then And then just some few other people, it was at a club per se. And then after playing my first three songs, the person who was emceeing, akaniambia ni nyamaze DJ Acheze. Wasewa mesema, wanataka kuenzo DJ kiasi. So that's, that's happened to me, honestly. Ilikuwa demoralizing, but inakupia tuyo bidia kusonga. Yeah. Okay, you now. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Perhaps to add on what uh, <laughs> yeah. this is a comedy. They also uh, work with Saudi so closely. Uh, one thing about life, the only ch thing that, that never changes is change itself. And every generation has its own uh, Joshua. Uh, so the Saudi soul. Uh, to make one now for that while and uh, done tremendously well for industry and for Africa and, and they'll always be there. Uh, what are Kina Ita and Akinotia bringing their, the new Joshua into the village? Just like what's happening in Kobe. And it's a beautiful thing to see this happening in our lifetime. Yeah. Kuna any surprise acts on Friday? Of course it's a one-man show, yeah, but that's uh, like a surprise maybe some collaboration that he's working on and was done afraid. Yes, Kun Ziko actually Ziko Kuna Kata. songs and release the nyetuta spice up. Now some of them I think around two of them at least in my set are um, people that I'm sure you will love. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be the Friday I'm good. Okay, so another question is uh, uh, 
this Friday, have you invited the other artists to join us? Yes, yes, yes. So as I exactly, um, Utakona, already since we have collaborations with this in the past, yeah. some of them will join. And then you to me work on, to me such as a few to that will be Yeah. Yeah. Now, Kenya, Sanao, we have one that we have to make sure the type of music we have to make. Is it gangetong? Is it a piano? I'm a watch type of music. Well, personally, um, ni 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 like a. Yangu naita sway, so ni kama Swahili na na R&B na neo soul. But over time, I feel like the more to nafanya kazi, the more it end up like you define exactly what the music is. Yeah. yeah. For me, it's 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 also just a fusion of Afro soul and just R&B. Just trying to quote unquote Africanize it. Just find a way to express ourselves within the R&B and Afro soul space. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Finally, do you know the future, guys? The future is this. Yeah. The future is you guys. Yeah. So you take this sound and take it to the rest of the world. Can we do that? Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much.